Good morning. I am Stampin' Dee Dee, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and this is Stampin' Thursday, Mystery Card Day, and I'm excited to be here with you. Um, I am doing this Facebook Live from a remote location from um, a friend's lake house. So, everything's a little bit different, and um, I'm just making sure that you can see this. So I'm gonna move it down just a little bit more. All right, here we are. I am so glad that you are here with me. And if you're live, if you would just Say hi, tell me you're here, uh, tell me where you're from. I would love to hear that. I would love to see that you're live, and I also will go slow enough that um, you can stay up with me. Let me, I'm gonna raise this blind just a little bit to get a little bit more light. Well, that doesn't help a whole lot. Anyway, so obviously I don't have the lights that I have in my studio at home, but this is gonna work just great. And um, this card, you're gonna love this card. So let me tell you real quickly that I have a, a class coming up April 1st, and it's it's called a Fun Fold Fair. And um, it will be in-house from one to three, on that Saturday, or it will be um, online uh, to go class, and that session will be April 6th, a Zoom session that evening at seven o'clock. But you need to let me know by the 26th, which is coming up. Today's the 23rd, and so you'll need to let me know by the 26th that you want to participate in that class, and I will show you the five fun fold cards and you will pick your three and this is if you're doing it to go you will pick your three and then i will get those three kits in the mail to you and you will have those by april 6th if you're doing the in-house class on april 1st just let me know that you're coming and you'll make your choices when you when during the class so i'm excited about this these fun fold cards are really wonderful so um I hope that you will participate. I'm gonna move this this way a little bit and see if I can do something with the shadow. I'm not sure. Mm, maybe a little bit. All right, maybe that's a little better. All right, so I wanted to let you know about that. Otherwise, um, I'm just, I'm glad to be here and I'm glad you're here. And like I said, I hope you'll, I hope you'll say something. Um, I'm assuming that, let me look right here. I need to make sure that sound is off. Um, I hope you'll let me know if you can't hear me. Um, I know you can see because I can see the photo. I can see the, the computer. All right, here we go. Here's clue one. And I hope you've gathered these supplies ahead of time. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, then you'll be able to stop and start the video and that makes it a little bit easier, but it's also a lot of fun to do it live. So I hope that um, that you will that you will give that a try sometime if you're not doing that today. That you will do it live and we do it together, and it really is a lot of fun. All right, um, I'm a little away. All right, live. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what that did to the video, but I think it stopped it for a minute. All right, so the card base, five and a half by seven and a half, and you're gonna score this at three and a fourth on the long side. And then your basic white or very vanilla is five and a quarter by four. Your, um, you'll need some more basic white or very vanilla, whichever you're using for your sentiment label. And that'll be approximately one and a half by three, whatever size, and you can use a label or a punch or just, Cut it with your trimmer, 
but about that size. And then you'll need some designer series paper that's three by five and a quarter. And this card is portrait. So you want to, if, it, if your um, designer series paper is directional, then you want to cut that appropriately. It'll be up and down. All right, and then you may want, well, you will, you want a couple of fussy cut or die cut um, stamped die cut fussy cut images for the front of the card to put on the label and if you want gems or ribbon and you will need an embossing folder you will need an embossing folder so that that's not optional on this one um, it, it's really what makes the card so you will need an embossing any embossing folder that you have will work all right I hope you have gathered these things, and we're going to go right on to clue one. Here we go. Fold on your score line and burnish. So, on that four and a quarter score line, or three and a quarter score line, burnish it. That's an easy one, a fast one. Give you a chance to do that. And then we're going to move on. Clue three. Take the basic white cardstock and emboss about one inch on the right edge lengthwise. So long portrait, portrait type on the long edge about an inch in. <clears throat> so you're just going to stick your, your um, basic white cardstock into so say this is your basic white card stock you'll put your embossing folder you'll stick it into the embossing folder about an inch and then you'll run your embossing folder and your card stock actually you'll run it this way probably through the through the um cut and emboss machine all right i'll give you a minute to do that Since I'm not seeing anybody on here live, if you are watching live, please comment. I, I know there are some watching, <laughs> um, but I don't know if you're actually doing the card or not. So, um, if you are, just comment. Let me know that you're watching, and that way I'll give you plenty of time to do this step. If not, hi, Jana. Glad you're here. Hello. Are you making the card with us? I hope so. I hope you've gathered the supplies and um, you're making the card with us. All right. There's some others watching too. So, all right. So, you've, you've embossed that one inch on the right edge of your basic white card stock. All right. Clue four, you're going to adhere that basic white to the inside of the card base with the embossed edge to the right, and it should show when the card front is closed. So be sure and, and um, IK, just watching. All right, great. John is just watching. You'll love this. You'll want to do it later. It's, it's a really very interesting card. All right, so you're going to adhere that basic white with the embossed edge to the right, and it should show when the card front is enclosed, is closed. All right? Okay. Clue five. Now you're going to adhere the DSP to the front of the card. So pretty straightforward. Just adhere that DSP to the front of the card. So you have your three by five and a fourth. DSP, and you're going to adhere that to the front of the card. All right. And if someone is doing it along with us, 
and you want me to slow down, just say, slow down. <laughs> All right, this is clue six, a little more to do. You're, you're gonna stamp your cinnamon on the basic white label, whatever you've used for a label, and adhere that to the card front, overlapping the embossed edge. So you're gonna adhere it to the front and it's gonna overlap the embossed edge just a little bit. So be careful though, to only put adhesive on the portion that is attached to the card front. You don't wanna put adhesive all over it because then you're gonna stick it to the embossed edge and you don't want that. All right, so whatever sentiment you've chosen, you're gonna stamp that on that basic white label and you're gonna adhere it to the card front overlapping the embossed edge. Okay, clue seven, you're gonna color and add your stamped, die cut, fussy cut image, whatever you've chosen um, to the sentiment label wherever desides, desired. So it can hang off the sentiment label, but you don't want it to hang off beyond the edges of the card. So you're just gonna add this as a point of interest to the sentiment label, wherever you want. And you could use dimensionals to adhere it if you want to. All right. Okay. I'm gonna keep going with this. So clue eight. If you want a sentiment inside, add that now. If you want a sentiment inside, add that now. You wanna add it though, so that it doesn't show when you close that front. And it shouldn't, because you, all that should show should be your embossed edge, but. Okay, I don't know if you heard me say, but we are um, in East Texas at Lynn and Leon's Lake House. And so I brought all of this with me to do from here. <laughs> and Lynn and I were sitting in the, in the kitchen visiting and she said, Deanna, it's 9.56. And I went, ooh. <laughs> all right, clue nine, add any other embellishments or gems or ribbons or whatever you want to the front of the card. Add whatever you want to the front of the card. And here again, because you're not, those who are watching are not um, making it with me, I'm gonna go on and go. And are you ready for one of the models, one of the samples? This is really a short one today, isn't it? Really short. Um, okay, let me pick out the first one. This is the first one I did. All right, here we are. Here's the first one. Make it, make sure it's down where you can see it. Pull it down. There. I think you can see that. <laughs> I keep pulling it down. I can't tell how far down it needs. All right, there we go. All right, so here is the embossed edge. Let's see, can you see that embossed edge? Let's see if I can get it so you, there. Now you can see it. So here's the embossed edge in the inside. Here's your cinnamon piece with, with a flower. This is that beautiful um, Hello Irresistible paper. I love that paper, oh my goodness. And then I did stamp and die cut these from the um, Irresistible Blooms set. So, all right. I actually did back my sentiment piece. Um, I just put a, a piece of flirty flamingo behind it just so it would, I, I think, give me a little more room to work with. All right. That's sample one. Here's sample two. Here's this one. And this is that perfectly penciled paper. 
and I used the um, diorama dies, two of them, two of the smaller diorama dies. Here's the, I used the brick and, board, brick and mortar. Can you see the embossing? Doesn't it really add so much interest to the card? The embossed edge peeping out from under the designer series paper. And then I used my Petal Park, um, the punch. Well, the, the stamp and the punch to do my flowers. Love you, friend, and it gives you plenty of room inside to do your sentiment. Okay, so we've got that one. One more, and this one, I kind of took off on a different tangent. All right, of course, you know I love the By the Bay, the Seaside Bay and the By the Bay set. I love that. And I used the, um, I actually had this spare piece, but it's the Borders dies. I used that. My sentiment piece, I wanted to add gold because there was gold in the designer series paper. And, um, but I put most of my die cut pieces down at the bottom. I just put the one uh, little piece of grass up here. I used the, um, what's it called? Textured, painted texture or whatever that is. I don't have it here, so I don't remember the name of it, but I used that and put another little die cut piece here at the bottom. So that's that one I took off a little bit and did it a little bit differently, but isn't it fun? The way you can, um, great, Jonna. Try it because um, it just, it adds so much. And you've still got all the room you need. And you know what? If you need more room for a sentiment, hey, put it, put the white on the back. <laughs> all right. Those are the three cards, the three samples from our um, mystery card today. It was an easy one, an easy one to do, and it's it's a great way to use some of the different designer series papers that um, just sit in our drawer. Mine do. My, they just, this pencil, perfectly penciled. I was really glad to get it back out again and use it. All right. I hope you will do it. I hope you will enjoy your card. This is a really short, this is probably the shortest video um, I have done, but with no one making the card with us, it, it, it frees up some time. All right. Thank you so much from, for watching and from Lost Prairie Lake in East Texas. I bid you to, I bid you farewell and have a great weekend. Thank you again for watching. And I will be putting this on YouTube. Please, um, give it a, a thumbs up. Um, share it if you think it's a, um, technique that somebody else would enjoy, um, that helps, that helps the YouTube be more visible. And thank you for watching this Facebook Live. God bless. Bye-bye.